I was trained as an oil painter, and my paintings were in oils when I was in college. When I moved here to Phoenix, I was living in this house that had a white carpet. So I was just uh, experimenting with uh, ways of not getting messy, so I started using paper. The process became more interesting to me, and ultimately became my main medium. I did an internship with a public arts uh, program in Scottsdale years ago. And having moved to Phoenix, I didn't know anybody, so I just started getting people that worked in museums, and that's when I met uh, Margaret Bruning years ago. She had this idea for the canal that she thought my work, my work might be good for this. So uh, she contacted me and asked me if I had any uh, suggestions, any, any ideas, any, any doing any work in the canal. I just thought it wouldn't it be cool if this thing kind of went from the canal up above the bridge and down to the other side and down to the canal again. Because I wanted it to feel like kind of larger than life and kind of this thing would just go above people and people would just be able to see it. Um, like a curtain coming down from the top of the bridge down into the canal. I basically pulled all these shapes out of my paintings and creating a foam. I wanted to use something that was more easily readable for the public and I decided to go with pliers and just kind of stick to the pliers instead of having to put different forms. The amazing thing about doing public art projects like this is that there's so many people involved. We wouldn't be able to make these projects if it wasn't for a crew. Shiloh and Shane, they were like the fabricators and they put this thing together really well and they were coming up with all these great ideas to put it together which is like really amazing. And having been there every morning to see it in this enormous scale of colors, it, it was just like, a, it just kept feeding me. At some point it was beautiful and I didn't want people to see it afterwards. We were gonna put it back together after the storm, but uh, it's a temporary piece and it's meant to change, so we decided to take it down. So everything kept changing and I felt like at some point we did complete the project. Seeing the water come back and seeing it like float, it's more like a, like a happening since the beginning. And, and I mean, it's the, I don't think the beautiful thing was just necessarily the thing floating, but it was just beautiful as it was when it was in the dry canal too. There's always gonna be changes and there's always gonna be those little things that we need to work around. So I think it's just a matter of being patient and just kind of uh, enjoying what we do and just kind of expecting those, the unexpected.